Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and today's video is going to be all about me when I did cheerleading back in the day in middle school and high school in particular and my overall experience with it. I'm at a place in my life now where this was so long ago that I feel like I can spill some tea on my high school cheerleading team, talk about some of the things that went down that I didn't necessarily agree with. I guess the pros and cons to cheerleading in general because you have to keep in mind that there's going to be good things and bad things about any sport that you do and everyone's experience is different. I feel like there's a lot of stereotypes involving cheerleading that are bad and also in my opinion kind of true to be completely honest and I was a cheerleader so I mean I feel like I can sit here and say that and also a lot of stereotypes that are just completely wrong saying that it's not a real sport anyone who's done competitive cheerleading like real cheerleading knows that you have to be in shape to be doing what those girls are doing like it's pretty freaking intense I did cheerleading from sixth grade up until my freshman year of high school is when I quit and then I almost did it my senior year of high school and ended up not which I'll talk about I did dance most of my life so cheerleading always kind of appealed to me my mom cheered professionally for the Cardinals and she was a professional dancer fun fact so she always had me signed up for ballet and jazz and all that stuff growing up and then cheerleading when I got into middle school so I tried out for the school's cheerleading team and I made the team my best friend tried out for the cheerleading team and didn't make it and the girls were so mean to her not just on the team but in general like girls at our school because for whatever reason at such a young age I just remember cheerleading was such a popular sport in the sense that people would be mean to you if you didn't make the team it was kind of like telling people they weren't good enough as a person not just when it came to having the cheerleader moves dancing tumbling all that stuff being so young I guess I just figured that all sports were like that and kids were just mean because you know we're in sixth grade but when I ended up branching out and playing other sports and being involved in other clubs etc throughout middle school and high school that was never the case other than cheerleading I'm not sitting here saying that cheerleading is a bad sport and it's evil and no one should be a part of a cheerleading team because trust me I did it for years and I loved it but this is just the outlook I feel like cheerleading had at such a young age a lot of girls felt like they needed to try out for the cheerleading team and make the team to be accepted not even necessarily because they enjoyed it and I genuinely had people tell me this sort of thing like this isn't just me who thinks this way or thought that way back in middle school I don't know how to explain it but I think that anyone who has personally done cheerleading would agree with me in comparison to other sports the coaches just tend to pick favorites because I feel like with cheerleading you don't really work together as a team as much in the same way I should say not as much as other their sports you're not passing the ball you have people who are in the front you have people who can tumble you have people who are considered more valuable to the team than others come seventh grade I no longer cheered for my middle school but I did try out for a competitive cheerleading team called ECYF that stands for East County Youth Football the girls who tried out for this cheer team were legit they had been doing cheer their entire lives super competitive they all tumbled they all had their back tucks their freaking flips all over the place they all took it very very seriously all their moms were cheer moms and they had probably siblings who were either doing the football in that same league or they had older sisters who were cheer coaches it was something that was taken very seriously in all of their families and it was really hard to get into and I ended up making the team I tried out with a few other girls from my middle school some of them which I had cheered with in sixth grade some of them of which I had classes with etc and a girl I don't know who started this rumor but one of the girls who didn't make the cheer team that tried out with me at our school told people that I bribed the coach like I paid one of the coaches money or I'm assuming my mom did because I didn't have money I was like in seventh grade in order to make the cheer team because I wasn't good enough like I should have made the team and this is coming from a girl who didn't make the team herself right I had girls who I was going to be on the team with that year the competitive cheer team come up and laugh in my face and ask me if it was true of course it wasn't true so I had to deal with that from the very start I really loved cheering at the time I loved tumbling I loved everything about it I loved performing but right off the bat I just point blank did not feel accepted into the cheer team like at all there were a few girls who were also new and they were really nice to me and then there was a couple girls I went to elementary school with or I think there was just one and she and I were really good friends we were really tight and they kind of took me under their wing and they taught me things I wasn't bad by any means I was just brand new to cheerleading I didn't have the experience that all these other girls did but I caught on pretty quick one of the girls on my team who ended up being on my high school team as well which I'll get into her her boyfriend in seventh grade threw a burrito at me from across the cafeteria and it hit me in the face and he said you suck at cheer and then him his girlfriend and a couple of the other cheerleaders who I was on that team with all laughed at me we ended up placing in the competition at UC Davis I don't remember if we placed first or second or maybe it was third but I'm pretty sure it was first or second so that was really awesome by the end of the season I had improved so much no one could really look at me and say that I wasn't as good as everyone else on the team because I worked super super hard I had tumbling I had perfect toe touches because to this day I can still do the split so I'm really really flexible and I would notice the same clicks in both the competitive team and the middle school team and those 
those girls just thought they were superior to everyone else for whatever reason. Some of them were really good, and I get that. I get that you're really good. I get that you've been doing this your whole life, but some of the girls just thought they were hot shit for like absolutely no reason. And they weren't any better than me or anyone else on the team as a person or skill wise whatsoever. And this is where I decided to make this video because this is what I mainly wanted to kind of talk about. High school cheer. When I say a lot of girls tried out, I mean a lot of girls. Girls that I had cheered with previously, girls with a lot of experience and girls with absolutely no experience who just wanted to do it for fun going into high school. So there were a lot of clicks when it came to trying out and a lot of people People who were super cocky and thought they were gonna make the team because they had experience and then ended up not making the team and then there were a lot of girls who were super humble didn't think they were gonna make the team and then ended up making the team and so I feel like that almost kind of put people in check that you know you can't have this idea that you're gonna make the team just because you did it in middle school and you think you're the shit like you actually have to be good you actually have to be a well-rounded cheerleader and nice and the coaches notice all that kind of stuff when it comes to cheerleading I just feel like there's so many different things that factor into you making the team like tumble because you get extra points of competitions if girls can tumble stunts You need a certain amount of people that are this height and then a certain amount of people that are small and can fly etc It's a lot more than just if you made the team they have to think strategically, you know So this caused a ton of drama There was one girl in particular who made the cheer team and she had the same name as someone else And then when she made the team people were telling her oh you weren't supposed to make the team The other girl with your name was supposed to make the team and it was honestly really mean in the beginning of the year After you do conditioning you go to cheer camp where they teach you a bunch of stuff and so much drama happened at this cheer camp but the coaches had to sit us all down and tell us that we need to respect each other and work together as a team it's literally like some crap you'd see out of the movies where like the cheerleaders can't get along or like girls can't get along in high school like mean girls it was like one of those things there was this one girl who I was friends with that everyone constantly picked on because she was new and I would stand up for her when girls would be mean to her because I was just not having it. When someone's getting bullied and I see that, I am the first person to step in. I don't always stand up for myself. In fact, I rarely ever will stand up for myself, but for other people, 100%. I just can't sit there and watch that. I'm not that type of person. And girls that I was friends with on the team who were also friends with this girl that I was standing up for for being picked on would just turn their heads because they didn't want to get involved. And I remember getting picked on for that because the girls were kind of like, Allie, are you one of us or are you gonna stand up for her because these were girls that I had cheered with previously and at this point in high school after cheering with them for a few years they kind of respected me and I was like kind of like cool with all them they didn't really give me a hard time they didn't throw burritos at me anymore and so it was kind of like me taking a step backwards by standing up for the other girl it really makes me mad still because that girl did nothing wrong and they constantly picked on her for absolutely no reason it almost made our team weaker because I felt personally like I couldn't stand up there and do something by myself let's say we were watching certain people do jumps or tumbling etc without fear that people were gonna make fun of me if I messed up so it almost made girls want to do less for themselves they didn't want to try to do things out of their comfort zone and expand and get better because they were scared of being laughed at because that happened to everyone all the time towards the end of the year when we were done with pretty much all the school rallies competitions anything there was we were all just kind of not messing around but the coaches were sort of playing around with us like we should learn how to do this that in case people were trying out for next year just to kind of advance the team and such so we were doing stunts and if you guys didn't know I was a back spot which meant that I was essentially the person who caught the cheerleaders who caught the flyers who were up in the air and then you have two bases and you have a front spot so it was my job to catch the person's upper body and the bases catch her legs and then the front spot catches her feet and just kind of make sure everything runs smoothly so we were in this really big stunt everyone was combined so it was a bunch of different stunt groups and we were doing something which is called a TikTok, which is where the cheerleader switches her feet in the air, which means at one point, her foot is not being held at all and she is just literally jumping. And then we had another stunt group right next to us who that girl was doing a flip or something and we were all holding hands in the air, the flyers were, and it was like a one, two, three thing where everyone did it at once, if that makes sense. So when she was in the air, she was goofing around with her friend. They were like holding hands, laughing at the thing, not paying attention, and so we went to switch her legs, she fell. And as a back spot, it's my responsibility to catch her upper body, which I did. I literally fell on the floor catching her. I got kicked in the eye, and so I caught her upper body Body. The bases in the front spot literally didn't even try. They like moved out of the way because they didn't want to get kicked. I got kicked. I caught her as best as I could, but guess who got blamed for her falling? I did because she hit her butt. Like her butt hit the ground, but I caught her entire upper body and I was literally on the floor and she was on top of me. But no one was concerned about me whatsoever. I'm not supposed to catch her like this. Then I would be a base. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to catch her like this, her upper body. So I caught her the way I was supposed to. I caught 
as much of her body as I possibly could have. Obviously, her body's gonna swing and hit the floor that way if the bases aren't doing their job, if the front spot isn't doing their job, but I caught her as best as I could. I literally had, like, not a black eye, but my eye was, like, messed up and it had kind of, like, a bruise afterwards because she whacked me in the eye with her foot. So, the next practice comes around and it turns out that that flyer, she had, like, fractured or bruised or something her tailbone, right? Like, her butt, essentially. And so, she was sitting out at practice and then everyone was whispering and giving me dirty looks and all this stuff and I was like what's going on like what happened to her and this one cheerleader who actually I think she's a really nice person but she snapped on me this day and I don't know why because I really did not deserve this she yelled at me and she said I was the reason why that girl had bruised her butt or whatever and it was all my fault and all this stuff just started like literally screaming at me in front of everyone I was so humiliated the coaches saw this happen and didn't really do anything about it they were just like hey guys like calm down let's get into our formation and so we're in the stunt group and then someone says are you okay and you know when you're like not okay and someone asks you if you're okay and then you just can't take it anymore I burst into tears I started hysterically crying ran out of the room into the bathroom and locked myself in a stall and I wouldn't come out for like half an hour I literally couldn't even handle it like I felt like such shit I felt so bad and I knew it wasn't my fault But everyone was like kind of blaming me because the other girls in the stunt They were not standing up for the girls who were bullied and things like that They had a better rep as far as it went with being in the cliques and stuff like that I hate crying in public like I just don't do it But I got to that point where I couldn't help it the coach came in and talked to me and she told me straight up Like it's not your fault that was uncalled for what that girl said We know that it was basically the basis responsibility to help catch her as well and the front spot who didn't do anything I saw the whole thing happen the coach was saying she was sorry for the girl and she was gonna have the girl apologize to me and I was like no please don't do that like I don't want a forced apology like it's fine like I just really can't handle this right now like I can't handle this I already feel bad enough I was so freaking upset I couldn't even tell you I went back in and finished the practice and went home that day after practice told my mom I wanted to quit my mom told me I had to quit in person and so I did I showed up at the next practice without any of my stuff and I walked up to the coach and I told her I'm sorry I'm quitting the cheer team thank you so much for everything there was only like two weeks left so it honestly didn't matter at all like I said we were basically just getting ready for the next year and I knew I wasn't trying out the next year so it didn't matter but still then the girls were like she left the cheer team like she quit but it's like okay you treated me like shit like do you really think I wanted to be a part of the team it was just a lot built up it wasn't just that one situation but I was just seeing that kind of stuff happen every day even if it wasn't to me I saw other girls being talked to and crying like that so that was what ended my high school cheerleading career for the most part I ended up doing water polo after that loved it so much and and then I stopped because I moved to Ohio my senior year and they didn't offer water polo here but they did have a cheerleading team so I actually tried out for the cheerleading team in Ohio I'm visiting here right now in Ohio I'm at my parents house and when I tried out um, I didn't exactly try out I met with the coach and the other girls and they taught me the routine and then I was going to try out but then I realized that it was going to take up all of my free time and I wanted to get a job. I wanted to do other things. So I decided against it and I'm so glad I did because the girls that I made friends with on the team who wanted me to try out and all this stuff ended up being so mean to me. I talked about this in a different video at the very start of my channel. I think it's called like moving across the country plus mean girls or something like that where basically I sat with them at lunch and one day I wore pajamas and they told me I like couldn't sit with them and all this stuff. Like it was ridiculous. So that ended up being the same group of girls and then when I didn't do the cheer team the other friends that I had made who were not on the cheer team were like you made the right decision like those girls are really mean and it's clicky and all this stuff and you just don't belong there this was me basically just ranting and talking to you guys about all of that and I wanted to make this video because I've said that I've done cheerleading in the past but I've never really made videos on it like I've made videos about water polo I've made videos about when I worked at Target I've made videos about a lot of my experiences but never cheerleading and I think that this is something a lot of girls can relate to I'm not trying to scare anybody out of doing cheerleading if that's what you want to do like I said I had so much fun doing the actual sport it was a freaking blast I honestly wish I could get back into it I would do it if I had the opportunity again for sure and that could have just been my school etc maybe your experience is different but I do think any cheerleader watching this could relate to at least one or two things I said in this video because it's honestly just true like that's what happens when you have a group full of girls working together every single day at practice thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to let me know by giving me a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new here turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box leave a comment below if you've ever done cheerleading and what your experience was like I'm very curious if you could relate with anything that I said I have a patreon if you guys want to check that out it'll be at the top of the description box where I post exclusive photos videos private snap etc follow all my social medias if you want they will be on the screen and I will see you guys in the next video later alligators bye